Hello, everyone, and we are back because it's time for week three in the NFL season. Let's go. And without further ado, we're going to get this thing started. And you know what we do on this show is that I basically go through the NFL games of the week. I give you my picks on who's going to win. And you better believe if I tell you they're going to win, they're going to win. Because I am money in the bank. Let's go. All right. Get this thing going. Thursday night game. We have the Tennessee Titans going against the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars in a situation where they don't know what's going on right now. They lost their quarterback. Things up in the air. Jalen Ramsey wants to get traded and all of that. They got too much drama. We ain't about that drama. And they're playing a team in the Tennessee Titans that I don't think is a great team. But I think they're a solid team. And what I think is going to happen in this game is going to be a dose of them running the ball a lot and just Derrick Henry really going off and having a really good game. That to me is going to be the big difference in this game right now for Tennessee. I expect Tennessee to go in and get the victory. I expect Derrick Henry to really go off in this game and to get at least over 100 yards on the ground tonight. Going forward, Sunday, we got the Cincinnati Bengals going against the Buffalo Bills. I ain't about them Bengals. They ain't it. Marvin Lewis says, hi, Bengals. You miss me? You know, y'all going to miss me a little when I'm gone, gone. And they're going to keep missing them because I predict the Buffalo Bills are going to get the victory at home. Am I sold on the Bills? No. But, hey, they can only play the teams that are on the schedule so far, and that's what they're doing. They're going to get that victory. Detroit Lions going to go to Philadelphia. And you know what? This is pretty simple. I'm going with the Eagles. Them Lions. Lion. They think they're going to get the job done. No can do. All right, moving forward, we got the Jets versus the Patriots. The question is, not only are the Patriots going to win this game, to me it should be, are they going to beat them by 40? 50? You think they're going to get them by 60? Who knows? But it's going to be a blowout. Brady and everybody is just going to be balling. And the Jets going to be... What can we do? <laughs> We got the Oakland Raiders going against the Minnesota Vikings next. What else is going to happen in this game? I think, you know what? I think Oakland's going to go in and get the job done. I am not sold on the Minnesota Vikings, so I don't think they're going to hold up. I think Dalvin Cook is going to have a good game running the football, but it's not going to be enough. I think Oakland's going to come in with Josh Jacobs, Carr, he's going to do good. Williams going to catch the ball good, and they're going to go and get that victory on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's money in the bank. All right, moving on on. Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs. Lamar Jackson is my fantasy quarterback. He's killing it this year. I expect him to keep killing it because I don't trust the Kansas City defense. So I think Lamar Jackson's gonna have a great day. Only problem is I think Patrick Mahomes is gonna have an even better day. And I think Kansas City is gonna go and keep on going. But I do expect Lamar Jackson to have a good game. Um you got Atlanta Falcons and the Colts. Atlanta is a team that you just don't know what you're gonna get. Atlanta could be great one week and bad next week. And the Colts are this is the quintessential <clears throat> game. I don't know. I don't really get it. I can 
can see them doing good. I can see them doing good. I can see them doing bad. I can see them doing, this is the, this is basically, man. Let's see what happens, game. I'm gonna go with Atlanta because when you look at the two teams, Atlanta has the superior offense in that, so I think that's gonna be enough for Atlanta to get the job done. But that game, I don't know. All right, Denver Broncos, Green Bay Packers. I'm going to go with the Packers. I think they're going to get things together. Green Bay going to sling that ball over that Denver Broncos defense. I expect big game out of Aaron Rodgers. He's going to get the job done. And then we're going to move on to the Dallas Cowboys and Miami Dolphins. Dak wants his money. Pay him the money. And they're going to go ahead and get that job done against Miami. Dak might throw about three, four hundred, about four, five touchdowns, beat them by fifty. Cause Miami, they don't want to be there, and Dak want that money. Jerry Jones, Dak's like, show me the money. Yeah, I want to show him that money. He's balling, and them Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? They gonna keep going. Then we got the Giants. This is the start of the Daniel Jones era. And they're going to go against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Not so fast, my friend. As Lee Corso says, the Giants are still going to lose. But I think it's a good idea for them to go over the switch. Eli Manning was not the Giants' problem. The Giants' problem was the offensive line is trash, the receivers are trash, the defense is trash, everything else is trash. It was not all on Eli. He's going to bring in Daniel Jones. Let him get that experience. I don't have a problem with it, but he is not a quick fix. They're not going to be good. They are going to get blown out, but he's going to, you know, get that experience. And, hey, if I'm going to go 2-14, I might as well go 2-14 with the young guy so he can gain some experience and so I can see what I got in him than staying with the old vet that we know who he is. Eli is who we thought he was. <laughs> and you got the Arizona Cardinals going against the Carolina Panthers. I'm going to go with Kyler Murray. And them boys, they're going to get the job done in Carolina. Hopefully, Christian McCaffrey can have a better game this week than he had on last Thursday Night Football. Because that was trash. Hopefully, Cam Newton decides to not just like whatever he's trying to do. But I think it's not going to be enough for Carolina. I think Carolina's going to have a lot of soul searching to do this year. I don't think Carolina's going to have a good year. I think at the end of the season, when we're fair, we'll get fired. That's a bold prediction. That's money in the bank. You got Pittsburgh and San Francisco. Speaking of coaches that may get fired, Pittsburgh, man, you lose Big Ben, you lose two games this season you're 0 2. It's not looking good. You get the backup. You actually you got your backup backup. You actually traded your backup a couple uh weeks ago, so it ain't looking too good for them. It's gonna keep getting worse. And I would predict San Francisco to get that victory. And you got Seattle versus the New Orleans Saints. But I mean Saints fans man you don't have Drew Brees. And y'all playing our bad man. Russell, last name Wilson. Russell Wilson and them boys gonna, gonna get the job done. And the Saints fans are just gonna have to wait until Drew Brees is able to come back. Hopefully, the Saints will be able to do good enough in that span of him not being there with Teddy Bridgewater that when he comes back, they can make a late playoff push. Push for the playoffs. That's your only hope. But this week, Ain't gonna be it. You got the Houston Texans versus the Los Angeles Chargers. I like the Chargers in this game. Phillip Rivers and every and company, they're gonna get the job done. Then you got the Rams and the Browns. I'm gonna go with the upset. I'm gonna predict that the Cleveland Browns at home will beat the Los Angeles Rams. Beckham, Mayfield. All them boys going to go in and get the job done. I predict you heard it here second or third or whatever. You know, but I'm just letting you know what I'm telling you. Then the Monday night game is going to be the 
Chicago Bears versus the Washington team. I'm going to go with the Bears to get that victory. They're going to get the job done. That is my pick for the week. And that is it for the week. Those were my picks. And if you have any doubts on my picks, put it in the comment section below. Because I'd love to chat about it. And we can go back and forth and see who was right, who was wrong. Like I said, this was my time. Thank you all so, so very much for listening, watching, commenting. You know, I really, truly appreciate it all. And got more things coming check out my next video that's coming as i'm going to be doing some college football picks my next video coming out in a in a day or so so get ready for that this has been jonathan lyman the of the jonathan lyman brand and i thank you all very much and until we meet uh -huh. Again. Until we meet again.